If you're struggling with something that you hate right now, there are two ways through. There's a, there's a two-step formula that if you can follow will help you out of any painful, negative, frustrating situation that you're going through right now where most people are gonna get stuck in complaining. You're gonna sit there and complain about what's happened to you and how bad your life is, and you're gonna be blaming other people. This is what most people do. They're stuck blaming everybody else, complaining about their situation, even if it's not your fault, that's fine. But if you wanna get out of the situation, there's a two-step formula that I want you to apply because you start doing this, it will change your entire life. Step number one is to change how you see the situation. Change your mindset, change your approach, tweak it in your brain. The one that I use the most is it's the best. It's the best. This thing that negative that happened to me right now, it's the best. It's my chance to prove to myself and the world what I'm capable of. You did not ask for this painful situation that you're going through right now. You did not ask for this health issue, for this work issue, for this environmental issue. You didn't ask for this thing to happen to you. This is where we struggle because you didn't cause this. It's probably not your fault, right? Maybe it is your fault, but it's probably not your fault, this thing that's happened. There's a lot that happened to make this thing happen for you right now. And so it's so easy to get stuck in the land of negativity. Why me? Woe is me. Why did this happen? As opposed to flipping to say, it's the best. This thing that's happening to me right now, it's the best. <laughs> when I broke my neck, I was on my tour, I broke my neck. What I said was, it's the best. It's the best. Is it actually good to break my neck? Mm, probably not, but it's, it's my chance to show myself what I'm capable of. I remember being woken up, so I, I passed out. I had a, a, a concussion. I, I fell on the floor. I woke up, like I fainted. I woke up, and I remember the, the hospital uh, had sent uh, their, their ambulance and also fire people showed up. And my circulation was getting shut off. I couldn't feel my arms. I couldn't feel my legs. They're worried that I'm having a heart attack. And I remember going through this in my head as I'm explaining what's going on. They asked me if I was okay, and I said, I feel okay. But then I, I can't feel my arm, I can't feel my, my right arm, I can't feel my legs, I can't feel... And, and most people would be kind of freaking out at this point. Like, oh my God, I can't feel my arm, I can't feel my legs! <laughs> and I'm calmly explaining that, oh, I can't feel my left hand right now, I can't feel my right hand right now, and just walking them through what's going on. And in my head, this is why it's so important, whether this is actually true or not, in my head, what I'm telling myself is, this is the best, I am the greatest patient of all time. As people are normally freaking out in this moment. I'm calm, I'm explaining what's going on, I'm I'm amazing, right? And I would never say that stuff out loud, but that's what the voice is inside my head, that this is the best, this is me, I'm amazing, let's go, let's solve this problem. And what it does is, when you're in that negative situation, it switches you to a place of possibility. If you are stuck in complaining and why everything is so bad and why is this happened to me, all you're doing is perpetuating the negative situation. You're not actually solving anything. When you can flip it to say, this is the best. This is my chance to learn, to grow, to improve, to solve this, to show myself what I'm capable of. What it does is it puts you in a place of resourcefulness. It takes you from a place of helplessness into one of resourcefulness that then allows you to go off and solve the problem that immediate thing that nobody asked for, that you would never wish upon your worst enemy that's happened to you right now, it gives you the tools to actually come out of it. And so switching your mindset, telling yourself that it's the best when you've got these moments of pain and struggle and suffering where you just wanna blame the world and complain and, and tell everybody how negative it is, you flip it. It's the best. Practice those three words. Maybe you're facing that situation right now. Maybe you're dealing with something you hate right now or something, if, if it's not right now, listen, I promise you something is coming. <laughs> At some point that negativity is coming for you. And so use that as inspiration. It's the best. So that's step one, that, that step one of how do you deal with the moment right now? It's, it's acute, it's, it's something that's overwhelming right now that you can't change, you can't get out of, you have to just deal with it. That's how you deal with it. I'm, I'm the best, it's the best, we're gonna solve this thing, let's go. Step two is more the longer term. So that was a very micro strategy of what's happening right now. The long term macro strategy is you can't be doing the stuff that you hate. You have to find a way out. It may not be today, it may not be right now, it may not be this week, but you have to find a way out. So if you're working for a boss that you hate, 
long term, you can't be doing that anymore. If you're in a business that you hate, and maybe you started the business <laughs> and you hate it, long term, you can't be doing that anymore. You will never win doing work that you hate. People say, well, you have to do whatever it takes, but you won't. You won't do whatever it takes if you don't like the thing. And you're going up against people, you're competing against people who love the thing. They love it. And for you, it's just a strategy. And so the key is you have to leave the things that you don't love doing and lean in on the things that you do and find a way to use the thing that you love to then bring value to other people so you can have a real business, so you can go make an impact, so you can build the life that, that you deserve, that your family deserves, and the people around you deserve as well. So if you don't love it, and worse, if you hate it, you have to find a way out. And that may not be today. This is where people get caught up in the struggles. Like, well, I don't, I don't like it, but I have no other plan. Okay, well, we have to start working towards it so that a year from today, you're not in the same spot. But today, you have to go show up and kick butt on the thing that is causing all of these problems for you. So I look at my YouTube channels, for example, we've done over 10,000 videos, just crossed 3 million subscribers on the main channel. Woo, thank you guys, appreciate you. I've been doing this for 12 years, April 2009. How, how, how do I keep going? How do I keep making videos? How do we, how do we crank out 10,000 videos plus? And how have I not burnt out? How have we not taken <laughs> time off? Because I love it because this doesn't work for me, because I look forward to this, because I look at my filming day, which is Tuesday when I make these videos, and I'm excited to make more content, to share with you guys, to hopefully, maybe this today is the video that finally sinks in for somebody. For somebody watching this video, whether it's true or not, the message I tell myself is somebody is gonna watch this video right here today, this one, and it's gonna be the light bulb moment for them. Not everybody. But for one person, that video, this one right now, is gonna be the light bulb moment for them that gives them the big unlock. And so I have to show up. I wanna show up. I'm excited to show up. I can't wait to show up. 12 years, keep making content, and, and as long as I love it, I'm gonna keep doing it. And so this is why if you're trying to do YouTube just as a strategy, you're going up against people who love the thing. So you're always gonna lose Meanwhile, there's something that you love doing and that's where you need to be long term. So if you're in this struggle right now, you're you're you've got some painful thing that's happened to you right now. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's a relationship issue. Maybe it's a business issue, but there's something that's happened to you right now. The short term in the micro right now, what can you do today? You tell yourself this is the best. I'm strong enough. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to crush this thing. This is this is, this is gonna get solved because you are amazing. It's the best. And then the longer term play is, okay, I'm not gonna be here one year from today. I can't just keep doing this. My life has to look different one year from today and I'm gonna find my way through it. And often that means switching your path, switching your relationship, switching the self-talk you have for yourself, switching your morning routine, switching the business that you're running, making changes. What are the real changes you have to make to your life and your routines and your habits so that you are not stuck here one year from today? You follow those two paths, the micro of it's the best and I'm gonna solve this today, and then the macro of I can't keep doing this, I need to, I need to find a different way through so my life in one year is different. That's how you get out. That's how you stop complaining, stop blaming other people, stop getting stuck in a land of negativity that most of the world is stuck in, and you start actually building the life that you deserve. If you want another Evan Rant video that just might give you the confidence you need, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. What do I do with my life? One of the most important questions that I get asked over and over and over and over again, people are struggling with. What do I do with my life?